All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to get the closest thing to a naval that is free. All the items are AC items from your storm and your bank for free. They're all drops, which is really cool. I love that Arctic Entertainment is putting a bunch of drops back into Adventure Quest. For a while there, they went on a spree where everything was in a merge shop. And now that they're all drops, it makes the game a lot more fun to play, honestly, because you get the farm for those drops. A lot of these items are low percent, so it might take you a few hours to get them. But it's well worth it being free AC items and that kind of thing because free AC items are great and you can store them in your bank for free. Let's get in to the video. Alright, so if you're watching this video, uh, this event might be... I think this event's going rare. Uh, so you'll have until September the 30th, 2016 to get these items. Uh, if you're watching this video after that, uh, the items are probably rare or seasonal. I think they're going to be permanent rare though. Uh, so you only have two weeks f uh, if you're watching this video, which most of the views on this video will come in the first two weeks. But if you stumbled across this video and it's older than two weeks old, the items might be rare. But if but you can still try to go to Midnight Crown. Uh, slash join Midnight Crown. The map name is in the bottom right hand corner there. And you click... Uh, you have to do the quest here. Oh, so they put them back here. They were not here before for a while. Uh, so it'll be a quest line. Uh, you do this guy's quest, and then you run all the way to the right. Oh, there's a long run. I'm going to pause the video here. Then you get to this side of the map. Uh, this is the vampire side. It's like werewolf versus vampires in this event. You'll get to here. You do her quest also. And once you're done her quest, you'll get a cutscene. Once that cutscene's over, you're going to click this button to go to the war. Um... We're already 100% the war for the vampires, and we're getting very close on the werewolf side. Uh, you don't need any quests or anything. All you need to do uh, for the vampire, for this armor, this set right here that I'm wearing, and I'll show you the... Uh, there's the male version of the armor. Of course, the female version is missing a little bit of fabric there, and uh, is, of course, a little bit skinnier, and the male version looks like that. And you can also get this from doing the same thing. That's a cape, which is a cutlass. Which kind of matches. Sucks there isn't a weapon. Uh, I don't know why they would make the weapon model and not allow you to equip the weapon. Uh, maybe that's a drop now that I don't know about. But from, uh, but all I know about, actually it's not a drop from the same quest. So, because I checked it on the wiki. But that's what the male version is. That's what the female version is. And there's also a cape drop. Uh, so, if you go to the room right here. And then go into this room. Uh, there's three in this room. So, all you have to do is just farm these guys. And once you get enough, oh, sh oh, I just got, oh, that's a new armor that just came out from hitting 100% on the war, or I think 75% or something like that. That armor literally just came out and I got that first try. <laughs> that's insane. But you need to get these huge full moon bounties. And once you have enough of them, you can just click the turn in button right there. Uh, I think it's three, three or five of them. Uh, like, it's not that many. Uh, and you can just, and they stack too. So you can just sit here and just farm for like an hour straight while watching Netflix or something, and then come back to the game. Oh, damn, the drop rate on this is pretty high. Uh, and then come back to the game and uh, just turn in a bunch all at once. Uh, don't click it too fast because it'll disconnect you, of course. But a lot of people think you need to do the quest. You can also get a quest, uh, but this way you don't even have the quest glitch, the quest or anything. You can just click the turn in button once you have enough, and that will complete the quest. You won't always get an item from it. Because uh, the items, like I said, were low drop chance from the quest. So, uh, but after a while, you will get the items. There's also uh, there's this helmet and this armor. There's also another helmet called the vampire hat, vampire hat. It looks the same for female and males, except for the face, of course, would be a little bit different. And that is the video, guys. Uh, good luck farming the armor and uh, have fun playing through the talk like a pirate day stuff there's a lot more drops uh, you can do the same thing for the vampire side to get a vampire set uh, which I might do a video on later showing off that set I don't have it yet of course because I've only been farming for the vampire side so far in the war and uh, like I said before this stuff will be gone in two weeks uh, actually it's less than two weeks it's like a week and six days from now so make sure you get on AQ and farm the stuff thanks for watching the video guys leave a like if you enjoyed and I will see you guys all in the next video. Peace. Click the video in the top right corner if you haven't seen it yet, and I'll see y'all in the next one.